electronic development engineer at Gen3. I'm involved along with my colleague in consistently developing the uh, predominantly the auto CAF, auto SIR, including continuous hardware changes to improve the overall design of the unit for both production and um, what it does it itself. And also we uh, assist the software engineer with um, what we would like to see and if looking for bugs and improvements that can be done in that as well. I would say keeping up with continuous product developments in terms of what is available in the market for us to use um, because being electronics is constantly changing. The um, auto CAF uh, is a ca cathodic anodic filament testing um, and also sir is uh, surface insulation resistance. The box reads current and we're looking for um, failures on test coupons within an environmental chamber. The box, both CAF and SIR, come either with 64, 128 or 256 channels and you have uh, 16 channels per measurement board. The measurement boards are connected to uh, the test coupon by a, um, a shielded ribbon cable. The system is designed to, to read very, very low current. Uh, I'm talking uh, pico, pico amps. Um, so in a normal setup, you would have a laboratory and you would have an environmental chamber and you would hook up to uh, a rack in the chamber and then you would go through the, the actual stand, the IPC standards in terms of humidity and temperature over time. And so the current readings will be registered so you must use deionized water. That has to be very, very clean, as pure as it can be. And the, obviously the cleanliness inside the chamber, so there's, there's no water or contamination. Speaking personally, it fills me with pride to know that the, you know, the, the changes that I'm involved in are used with such high profile cust you know, global customers that are household names, really, which is great. The demands from our customers are constantly changing um, for the better, you know, we want to improve the, the product as best we can. One of the main new features now is that we have what's called multiple bias. So traditionally, you've only been able to apply one voltage um, for your measurement and or conditioning across all 16 boards. Uh, now we've changed that. Um, you can have up to three different bias options split across your 16 boards, um, providing this is from the bias power supply. Another feature we've also got is um, the ability to change said bias after a certain number of samples. So for example, if you were, if you've done, uh, let's say 200 measurements, you can now dictate in the software that after 100 measurements, you want your measurement bias to actually change from say 100 to 50. We can, we can currently um, test up at 1250 volts and um, obviously due, due to the complexity now with EBME vehicles um, and the, the circuitry, uh, that's, that's obviously a necessary function. So you need to test the, the boards that are very high voltage. So the CLR was developed to bridge that, that the high voltage. So the CLR's function is to take the load. So if there's a short in the coupon, you will drop the, the voltage potential across the resistors in the CLR box. So the CLR box is in, in series on every single channel, you have either two meg two or in the case of 1250, three meg two or whatever it is. And the load quite simply is dropped it's just a safety feature. It's very, very it's simple to connect up. Normally, the, we rely on the customer to, to supply their own high voltage power supply with, with specifications that we give them. Um, and there's also maybe specific interlocking circuitry with the, with the, with the chamber for an, if there's any kind of a, a, a leakage or whatever in terms of voltage. But very often, they ask us to design a, a bespoke rack we have to wire the rack to so with the right the correct bias. The customers mainly do their own con connections to the coupons. It's normally SIR where you're using racks. So the bespoke racks are normally insulation resistance. It's not normally associated with CAF really. It's 
a lot more modern looking uh, user interface. Um, you now get live and recorded data on the same screen. Uh, we've also made the ability to view your results a lot better um, when the test is finished. So you get now what's called a .gen3 file uh, and it can be reloaded as the software was and you can go back through all your data from start to finish. A uh, new feature of the new software is that we now have it available in six different languages. But as a global company, it's important for us to have the software available in several, several different languages um, because we do export globally to countries such as China, America um, and all across Europe.